Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to solve this algebraic equation. The equation we have x plus y is equals to 8 and x times y is equals to 48. Here we need to find out the value of x and y. So let's get started the solution. First, I am going to name this equation as 1 and this as 2. In the first step, I will going to take equation 1. And I'm going to solve it out for y. So this I'm going to take to the right hand side. y is equals to 8 minus x. So this is our equation 3. Next, I'm going to take equation 2. Now I'm going to plug in the y value that is 8 minus x. x, 8 minus x is equals to 48. And this will be equals to 8x minus 8 square is equals to 48. Now, in the next step, I will going to take this 48 to the left hand side. 8x minus x square minus 48 is equals to 0. Next, I will going to rearrange it according to the power. So, minus x square plus 8x minus 48 is equals to 0. Now here we have the negative signs. I will going to multiply this whole expression by negative 1. Negative x square plus 8x minus 48 is equals to 0. And now this minus minus plus x square and minus plus minus 8x minus minus plus 48 is equals to 0. Now here we get the quadratic equation and this is our a, b we have negative 8 and c we have positive 48. We're going to plug in the abc's value in the quadratic formula for finding out the value of x. x is equals to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac over 2a. x is equals to minus and minus 8 plus minus root minus 8 whole to the power of 2 minus 4 1 and 48 over 2 and 1 and this will be equals to positive 8 plus minus and 8 8 time give us 64 and we got the positive answer because of the even power minus 448 times give us 192 over 2 and this will be equals to 8 plus minus root negative 128 over 2 and here x is equals to 8 plus minus now I want to separate this negative sign from this 128. So we're going to write 128 times negative 1 over 2. Next, I will going to split this 128. So here we're going to write x is equals to 8 plus minus root 64 times 2 times negative 1 over 2. And here x is equals to 8 plus minus root of 64 we have that is 8 root of 2 times root negative 1 over 2. And as you know that root of negative 1 is equals to iota, the imaginary number. So this equation turns to x is equals to 8 plus minus 8 root of 2 iota over 2. Now in the next step I'm going to take here common factor of 2. x is equals to 2 and 2 4 times plus minus 4 root of 2 iota over 2. This and this get cancelled so the answer we will get x is equals to 4 plus minus 4 root of 2 iota. Now, in the next, I'm going to take equation 3. y is equal to 8 minus x. 
Now here we get the two x values. So first I'm going to take the positive one. So x1 I'm going to write here. Y is equals to 8 minus 4 positive 4 root of 2 iota. And y is equals to 8 minus 4 minus plus minus 4 root 2 iota. So this will be equals to 4 minus 4 root of 2 iota. So here we get x1 and y1 value that is 4 positive 4 root 2 iota. 4 negative 4 root 2 iota. Now next I will going to take the same equation 3 here and plug in the x2 value as negative. y is equal to 8 minus 4 negative 4 root 2 iota and here y is equal to 8 minus 4 plus 4 root of 2 iota. We get 4 and positive 4 root of 2 iota. Here we get x2 and y2 value that is x2 we took that is 4 negative 4 root of 2 iota 4 positive 4 root of 2 iota this is our final answer now we are going to check our answer x1 and y1 value i will going to take here equation 1 the x1 value we have that is 4 positive 4 root of 2 iota positive and 4 negative 4 root of 2 iota is equals to 8 here. This and this get cancelled. 4 plus 4 is equals to 8. So the value of x and, and the y1 is absolutely correct. Now I'm going to verify my x2, y2 value. And I'm going to take here equation 2. The x1 value we have that is negative 1. And here, 4 positive 4 root of 2 iota is equals to 48. Now, I will going to apply here the algebraic identity. That is A minus B and A plus B. So this is our A and B value. Turn turns to 4 square minus 4 root of 2 iota whole to the power of 2 is equals to 48. We get 4 to the power of 2 is equals to 16 minus 4 to the power of 2. And here I'm going to write root of 2 iota whole to the power of 2 is equals to 48. So this will be equals to 16 minus. Now here this I'm going to write 16. And now this and this get cancelled. So here 2 is remaining. And iota square is equals to 48. And uh, in replacement of this iota square, I will going to write negative 1 because root of negative 1 is equals to iota. So if I'm going to take square, so it will be equals to negative 1 and iota square. So I'm going to plug in here negative 1. 16 negative 16 2 times give us plus 32 times negative 1 is equals to 48. And here 16 minus minus plus 32 is equals to 48. Where 48 is equals to 48. So the left hand side equal to the right hand side. So the value of x and y you find out is absolutely correct. Thank you so very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you like my video, please do hit the like button. And please support my channel for subscribing it.